What's going on everybody? Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to process a photo in GIMP and use the GIMP plugin. We're going to be making this photo on wood tonight, uh, 18 inches tall by about a little, little better than eight and a half inches wide. I actually have it burning now and uh, my work area on my machine is only 24 by 16, so I rotated the image counterclockwise because that's the way it's going to burn on the machine. Um, the plugin uh, scales photos using millimeters, so if you're having a hard time converting inches to millimeters, head over here and go to scale image. set this to inches first and you can see our image size it's already the correct size we want it but uh, let's switch it to millimeters anyhow and take our largest number and you will enter this in the height and width plug in both fields 457 scale it proportionately for you guys so after you get your conversion press cancel um, you can see over here, we only have one layer, so we don't want the background to burn. So we're going to grab the fuzzy select tool right here. We're going to click within the background of our photo. And I'm going to drag it out just a little bit more. Let's try to get it to uh, select outside of the mask as much as possible. Now it's getting away from us here, so I'm going to go ahead. My computer's a little slow, so I'm going to select none to clear it. Try again. There we go. Now let go of the left, left mouse button. Select it for you. Sorry for the slow computer. I have a feeling this is going to be fairly slow when it comes time to uh, process the photo. Okay, so you can see our background is the dancing ants, and it's selected. So we're going to want to go up to the edit menu, press copy, to copy our background selection that we do not want to burn. We're going to come down to the lower right down here, and we're going to create a new layer group. And once you see it pop up here, press control V in Victor to paste your background layer. I'll turn the image layer off so you can see what we just did. We just did this here. Put the white background back there. So we'll turn our image layer back on so we can get back to it here. And now you can see the dancing ants are still selected the photo so we're going to want to clear that. But first down here in our layers we are going to select our image layer again. That way we will be running the plugin on the actual image. First, we're gonna go to select up top and select none to get rid of our background selection. See, it's no longer selected. So now we are going to run the plugin. Don't mind this window that pops up. If it bothers you, you can minimize it. Waiting for the slow computer to load the plug-in. Okay, so you remember we had 457.20 for our photo size millimeters, so we will enter the largest size in both sections. Going on wood, so we will select wood. I'll go ahead and move this out of the way for you guys. Press OK. Now the process is running. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. It is a rather large photo. As you can see down here, it's currently 1.6 gigabytes. So, in building. 
So this one's going to take a little while to process. It usually doesn't because my computer's not always this slow, so just bear with me here. It's working. probably bottlenecking from recording a screen recording at the same time so sorry about that I apologize saw a big spider creep across the floor that's uh, reassuring and seeing some ginormous spiders here Okay, now it's all done. So now we will export this photo. Export as. We'll type V3 after it. And 600. Right. Export it. Now on this next screen. Oh no. Hang on guys, something really important. Flatten your image first. Now we will export it again. D3. 600. Now here, the first time you guys run GIMP, this will be set to 90, okay? I'm going to want that 100. And to, to save that, press save defaults, and that'll keep it 100 every time for you guys. So press export. Okay, now we will go over to Lightburn here, and we will import our photo. Here it is. The blue line represents the 19 and a quarter by 11 and 3 quarters piece of wood. I'll simply just pulse the laser right until it hits that corner. Press origin on my laser controller, and then it will be perfectly lined up substrate as long as it's square in your machine. Yeah, 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 not responding, not responding. Okay, so I'm going to select the photo, and I'm going to hold shift, and select my board mock up there and I'm going to center them up and now it will burn in the center of the whole board and my settings right now is 74 millimeters per second we're at 70% power which is 100% for me. You're going to want to have pass through to off for this step. Our photo is 600 dpi, so we will change that to 600. 
And now it's very important that we use pass-through mode. So activate pass-through mode, and then it will not apply any of these effects that you do not want. Destroy what we just did with him. So once you get that right, press OK. Send it over to your laser. And I will meet you guys back. I'm going to grab my phone. Show you guys how the photo is looking over on the laser. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, we're over on the laser now. This is the photo we had just processed in GIMP using the big GIMPing plugin version 3. This uh, photo here is 18 inches tall by a little better than 8.5 inches wide. And uh, I'm using a sheet of uh, birch plywood from Lasered by the Creek. You guys with the higher powered machines, uh, this is really going to also help you guys and give you a fair, a fair playing field with the lower powered lasers. I'm running this at 100% power right now. My controller only goes up to 70% max power, so that's my 100% power. And as you guys can see, you know, it's not tearing the wood up, not destroying it. You still have your, your darks, mids, and, and lights. I'll show you guys the uh, controller here real quick. You guys can see up top there, 70% power. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys. I'm going to raise it up to, we'll go to 80% power, and it's going to default back to 70 right there. That's because that's my max power. So Over here, and light burn here. The photo that we processed in GIMP using the plug-in and our settings. The blue line represents the uh, sheet size of the piece of birch. So, so yeah, guys, uh, that's how you use the plug-in. Change the background color to white and not process the background. And uh, what to look for on the laser when you're burning your photos. Thanks for watching.